Did you know that the basic oxygen furnace can convert molten iron into steel in just 20 minutes? In this video, you will learn in detail about the basic oxygen furnace, a key technology in steel production. Welcome to James Sword Engineering channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and also subscribe to the channel. The basic oxygen furnace is essentially a giant tank, lined with refractory materials to withstand the intense heat. The furnace is heated to around 1700 degrees Celsius, and then oxygen is blown to start the refining process. The oxygen reacts with the impurities in the steel, such as carbon and silicon to create a slag that is removed from the furnace. This leaves behind high-quality steel with a much lower carbon content. Brief history about the basic oxygen furnace. In the late 1940s, a Swiss engineer named Robert Durr experimented with the Bessemer converter process and discovered a better way to produce high-quality steel faster. He blasted pure oxygen into the furnace, instead of air that contains only 20% of oxygen which is used in the Bessemer process, he found out that oxygen removed carbon from the molten iron more effectively. The process was further developed by an Austrian company called Voist, which is presently known as Vostalpine in the Austrian cities Linz and Donowitz. That is why it can also be called linz donowitz process or LD process. How does the basic oxygen process work in steelmaking? This steelmaking process begins with pig iron. The pig iron is smelted in a blast furnace after which it is poured into a ladle and taken to the basic oxygen furnace. In this furnace, the hot metal or pig iron from the blast furnace and steel scraps are charged and loaded into the furnace that is tilted about 45 degrees. The converter is then placed in an upright position. Oxygen is turned on and a water-cooled lance is lowered down into it, the lance blows 99% pure oxygen into the charge for about 20 minutes causing oxidation of the elements. The oxidation reactions in the converter cause temperatures to rise above 1700 degrees Celsius. This melts the scrap and reduces the carbon content of the steel by burning it to form carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide. It also creates silicon oxides and other impurities. To fine-tune the steel characteristics, Fluxes such as burnt lime or dolomite are added to form slag, which absorbs impurities of the steelmaking. These adjustments are necessary to achieve the desired quality and ensure the steel meets specific industry standards. The chemical compositions, temperature and charging weight of the iron ore are often controlled automatically by a computer. The tapping process is the final part of the process, where the slag is then separated from the steel and the refined steel is transferred into the ladles for further processing or subsequent casting. The two major types of basic oxygen furnaces involve these steps. They include a top-blown basic oxygen furnace and a bottom-blown basic oxygen furnace. A top-blown basic oxygen furnace is equipped with a water-cooled oxygen lance for blowing oxygen into the pig iron through four to six nozzles. A bottom-blown oxygen furnace, also known as Q-BOP, is a less common method. Oxygen is injected with lime powdered through the two years located at the bottom of the vessel. Various parts of a basic oxygen furnace. The shell, it is the main body of the basic oxygen furnace and it is made from steel. It is strong, durable, and tough. The shell does not melt because of the refractory lining. The refractory lining. The refractory lining is a special type of material that can reflect and withstand heat. The refractory lining performs two functions. The first is to help retain the heat in the furnace so that less energy is required to keep the furnace at operating temperature. The second function is to protect the steel shell from the furnace heat. The water-cooled oxygen lance. The water-cooled oxygen lance provides the oxygen to the furnace. The lance is water-cooled so that it will not melt in the furnace. The slagging hole. The slagging hole is like a sprout where the slag can be poured out when necessary. The tapping hole. The tapping hole is used to remove the molten steel from the furnace when the desired quality has been attained. The main difference between a basic oxygen furnace and a Bessemer converter is that the basic oxygen furnace uses pure oxygen, while a Bessemer converter uses air, which contains nitrogen that can harm some steel grades. Also, the main difference between a basic oxygen furnace and an electric arc furnace is the type of raw materials they use and the process to create steel. For the raw materials, 
The basic oxygen furnace uses molten pig iron and recycled steel, while the electric arc furnace uses recycled steel. For the process, in the basic oxygen furnace, oxygen is blown to reduce the carbon content of the molten iron, while an electric arc furnace uses electric arcs to melt the scrap steel. Advantages of basic oxygen furnace 1. Highly efficient. Reduces large quantities of steel in a relatively short time compared to other methods. 2. Lower operational costs, especially when using molten iron from a blast furnace. 3. Can produce a wide range of steel grades, making it suitable for various applications. Thank you for watching. If you find this video informative, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on the notification icon for more content. See you in the next video.